Oh, good day there, BBPN. It's time for your broadcast there. And today we are bringing you back to, yeah, it's the AED Invitational. That's because BBPN Season 3 is having a lot of crazy games going on right now. And it means, you know, we've got a gap to fill. And, of course, AED Invitational, it's round three. Let's get out to the stadium and see what goes down in the first game. Yes, who knows what's going to go down on this one here. All right, uh, yeah, Fanatics. It is, of course, the BBPN against, if I do recall right, what is it? The ICBVL? God, some of these initials, they're just tongue twisters. And yeah, you see what this is. It is Bretonians versus Bretonians for the first round there. Their stench is absolutely palatable from up here. Good Lord. Let's take a look at the skills here. As you can see, the BVPN are coming in with quite the stack of reserves. He's got the three re-rolls. He's even got the feign. The supporters have shown up for him this time there. Yep, it is the Peon Pylons. And there was much rejoicing. Uh, indeed, there was much rejoicing. Welcome to the show there. And, of course, the fucking Blizzard. Of course it is. Oh, God. Well, this is going to make it fun, isn't it? <laughs> Let's make a snowman. And yes, of course, he has absolutely failed to get his balls. Well, that's typical of the Bretonians. That's what the women are for. And the ICBBPL Bretonian scum are on their way. Yes, the filth, the pylons. This is going to be on a Bretonian, isn't it there? Well, they're starting it off with a good old-fashioned blow to the head. See? And it actually works. Mind you, that is a yeoman there, so, you know, warning, there's really nothing up there, especially with peons. All right, here we go, charging in, pick on peon night, it's everyone, go sports team. Yep, just knocks him over, that's fine. Is he going to go for the easy score? Maybe, yep, Blizzard's bloody annoying, isn't it? Yes, he merely fails to pick up his balls. He's going to try it one more time. Does it on the second try. Yeah. Yes, I know. You can feel the excitement from here. These nipples would cut glass. It's so bloody cold out in this field. All right. There we go. Pushing away here. Peon's doing what they do best. Picking on someone else their own size. Yep, balls definitely froze and fell off there. Be careful with the glass. It's brittle. Yep, jingle those bells. Speaking of jingle the bells, he's going to jingle those balls. There's the cheeky foul there. Doesn't get anywhere. Crap! Yeah, he gets absolutely nowhere. All right. Well, it's time for the BBP. Now, I do wonder why he's fouling here, because notice he's got booze, but nothing else, and he has no reserves. So, I have a question here, lad. Why are you fouling? You can't afford the ejection. Well, your snow, plus, you know, lack of actual feeling to your testicles in this weather probably explains much. All right, well, he's in no hurry here. He does have a couple of stuns he's got to wake up here. Uh, as you can see here, pot of stones, they're absolutely in no rush here. He's probably got at least one play, maybe. Now, nah, he's just going to focus fire here. No, no need for a foul here. He's in no rush. Like I said, three reserves, no reserves, yet you're fouling. Why? Oh, well, we all see. Who are you cheering for? They all have peons. Um, let's see. Which one? This one. See this one? You're cheering for that one. Okay? I, I'm not picking a favorite. I'm really not here. It's Bretonians or Bretonians. Like I said, this is a bar of soap. They have no idea what that is. It's just the lie. Lie does a great job cleaning the filth off. Or some dissolving through the flesh. But that's beside the point. Ask Nurgle. All right, he splits forward here. Well, he is trying to make an opening. That's what he said last night. They wear a pink shorts. You can't cheer for them. All right, I can believe that, maybe. 
Yes, hang the soap from a thread. And by thread, I mean hang. And by rope. There's enough rope to hang the peon with. It's called a lynching, lads. Fine old tradition in the old days. Alright. Well, the cleaners. They're on the move here. Now, immediately, as you can see here, there are a few skills in play. Of course, there is one guard over here. There's a wrestle. I don't know why he bought a wrestle for a peon. It's not like he's going to do anything useful here. Evil's a great coach. Great at what? It's an epic game. Yeah, that's to be believed. We will find out. Remember, this is now an unbiased broadcast there, so you can see how much malarkey is involved. Hell, let's go pick on the nobles, shall we? It's the long dream. What did you promise them? Free turnips? An actual turnip. Well, that will do. There we go. Sort of punch. Knocks the poor lad over. Don't worry, he'll get himself back up and he'll address the inequality of the masses. Good solid pee on it there. Now the lad, well, he's going to get into the brawl. Well done. Niggle and noble time. Yeah, there's a game. I endorse this game. I absolutely do. All right, double power, of course. Knocks the poor lad over. All the rest of them, yeah. He's trying to make up his mind. Where is he going here? Now remember, Blizzard limits your throwing ability down to basically just a quick pass. And of course, GFIs fail on a two. This could be a bit of a problem here. Not exactly a high speed either team. They're basically at the same speed. Now, they're basically at the same smell. But, you know, we've already discussed that. And I don't want to go any further than this. Which peon is which? Well, we'll see how many dead there are. Because quite frankly, if you're noble, do you care whose team it's on? You kick them anyway. They have to know where their stature is. Alright, is there a play here? Yes, there is. Two dice. Hits the poor peon. Sends them flying. Dirt flies everywhere. Yeah, blitzes, blockers, yeoman, nobles. We got it. We got it. Alright, they get it now. You bring a deeper branch. You also bring a deeper smell. All right? Have you washed them any time lately? No. Why? Because it adds to the armor. I understand. You don't need to discuss it to them. Yeah, you never wash them. Absolutely never. Bathing. What a concept for a Bretonian team. Speaking of a concept, wrestles that noble down. Hey, look, we can stop on ahead. Or not. You know, he was wide open there. That's what she said last night. Does he even feed the reserves? Yes, turnips. Absolutely. If they win this game, they get a big turnip. See, that is the motivation of this game. Who offered turnips to their team? It is absolutely obvious here. If you don't do this meme, you don't belong being a Bretonian. There we go. Into the crowd he goes. Ah, well, he's alive. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Yes, I know. Get on with it. Well, you know, that's Bretonians for you. At least he's got wood removal. It's only a removal into the reserves, but it's a removal. There we go, turn four. The inner circle's on the move. Yeah, first turn up for the first death. Absolutely. Now, you can't feed a horse dung. You use that to feed the pigs, and the pigs gives bacon to the nobles. Wrong order. You don't waste perfect good horse dung. On peons. See, this is clearly why you've been losing games. Alright. Alright, on the move. Pigs and bacon. Yeah, exactly. Save the good stuff. There we go. Pick on peon week. Continues. There we go. Yeah, three pence for a lump of crap, sir. Yeah, exactly. Alright. There we go. And he's knocked over. Oh, yeah. He's more knocked over. The dirt's flown off him there. That's a bit of a shame. Really? Oh, well, skulls that up. Rerolls it. Of course, now it's one die. You might need that reroll later. But you know what? I'll let you slide on that one. We'll see if it comes back to haunt you later. This was the last block of the play. All right, here we go. More peons on the move. Parstone is trying to do its best. Now, admittedly, the Blizzard is limiting how many GFIs he wants to do. Oh, here come a couple more lads running back in to help. Why? Because the Noble told them so. Bit of an hit there. Peon goes flying. And he unfortunately lands on something, you know, not painful. His head. 
over there, push me, push you. And Aaron's made an opening though if he wants to risk it. I don't know how you feel about it. Does a peon want to blitz? Maybe if you get a better idea. Oh, I see. It is his clever idea. It is so clever. He stuck a tail on. And it's fallen right off. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Well, he doesn't care that basically about that much, but he does make the player go flying. Cost him a reroll, but you know what? Wasn't too crazy. It worked out somewhat alright. So far, the dirt and the armor is holding up quite well this game. Turn five, in a circle. Let's see, does he go for the score? Or is he going to try and burn a turn or two out? Because he does not want to give four turns here. Now, nope, there's the quick dodge, and he goes in. It is one to nil. Not so spectacular celebrating, but that's all right. At least it's on the board. And here we go. Four turns, giving back to Parstone. Can Parstone score in four turns? This should be an easy thing. Yeah, feeds the bunnies. See, one KO doesn't care. He's got reserves. <laughs> he's basically he's he's basically Kislev. We have reserves. Now let's see how well he spends them. He spends them like water. Something this team has not seen. In fact, this is the first equivalent to a bath this team has had all season during this tournament. Doesn't do anything for the smell, trust me. Those socks are bloody ancient. Now remember, how he changes his socks. He just puts another one on later. Let's see the other ones rot off. That's how it works. Really, it does. Look it up. All right, here we go. Here's the kick. Oh, we're going to have a change of the weather. Now it's a blitz, unfortunately. <laughs> Come on, come on, let the Gumby have his fun. Alright, so here he comes. He set up all the way back, and now he's got a blitz. So now he's going to come all the way forward. Of course he is. Because this is called a clever idea, right? Right. You know, that, why did you set all the way back if you're going to come all the way forward? Oh, because it's a blitz. What well, the ball's all the way here. It might be a touchback anyway. We will indeed see. So here's my thought. Well, you got a blitz, right? Well, then why are you moving forward? Setting this far back assumes, pretty much, that that's where you wanted to be. Well, now you're coming all the way forward. So what was the point of setting all the way back? No, seriously, that is my question. Why set all the way back? Because here comes a blitz, and you come all these players forward. All right. This is your clever idea, isn't it? Oh, well. Holy dooly! Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's a touchback. Ball thrown all the way forward. And now so much for all the way back covering. Well, we'll see. We will see. Maybe he knows what he's doing. Of course, if you believe that, I've got a bridge somewhere in Califan to sell you. All right, here we go. Yes, you're trusting on the peons to do something useful. Yes, this could be the first mistake of the game. Among many, for all we know. It's early days. Blitzes through here. Just a push. That's fine. He needs to establish his dominance somehow over the Omen. Yeah, he's going to go pick it off Peon. This is how he establishes his dominance. Here he comes, running forward. Not too far, not too careful. Yeah. Careful? That's for Yeoman. This is Noble's work. Careful for something else. Comes running forward here. Just in case he drops his balls. Yeah, he's got someone to pick it up. And no, it's not his wife. Another solid push. Sweet bugger all. How about you, Sunshine? One die, and yes, it's another sweet bugger all push. Seems to be a lot of that going around here. How about you, Sunshine? Would you like to meet a fist? No, of course not. That is an awful lot of pushing. Are you sure you're not married to him? All right, well, here we go. In a circle, comes charging over, pick on the peon. And he knocked that one over.
Yep, slides away in the snow. Now, where are the rest of you going? Oh, yes, you're going to go pick it on Noble. You're above your station, lad. Know your place. But he has an idea. But, of course, he's moved all his players for. Like I said, if they'd been where they were supposed to be, this would be a different story. Well, there you go. Solid push. We're surfing a peon? No? Oh, come on, please. The crowd wants something to play with. No, I'm not going to do it today. All right. What is your clever plan, lad? I wonder if he sees it. How about I piss the face? That will do. Tonight we hunt. Oh, it's a KO. So, yeah, maybe he is hunting. How about a peon? Can we put that on the delivery? No, clearly not. Too much filth on that one. All right, in a circle. Well, they do seem to be taking advantage of the situation here. They do have a clever plan. Will it work? Nope, they're not even going to risk it. All right, so he's a bog to the face. You know, you could have risked it there. Two dice. Yes, I know you don't like the idea. But here we go. Passed him. Will he take advantage of that? You had a chance to blitz the ball, Kenny, and you passed up on it. All right, it's your team. How about you? Your pain shall be legendary. Yeah, we're getting on with it there. There is the other one going flying there. Finally, there's a removal the other way. Now, two more dice. Solid it into the peon. Let's send the dirt flying. Yeah, we got him knocked over. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Certainly a stun, though, so it's nothing too exciting there. All right, bit of a more excitement there. Quick blitz. Now he's going to run back. Nope, just knocks the lad over, that's fine. Now he's going to tuck himself back in here. You realise this is going to make a tricky scoring lad. You do realise that? Alright, that's all I want to know. Asking for a friend. Two dice, does get the solid eight into the noble there, sends him flying. Oh, there's a stun! <laughs> it's not an injury though, yes, you do make me so sad. Alright, third seven. See what the end of the circle comes up with. Now, admittedly, he can't make it. Both teams have plenty of rerolls left here. So now here's the question. Is anyone going to make a risk and actually go after the ball here? Admittedly, potato play seems to be in call. Maybe. Unless he gets clever and goes this way. We will see. Oh, up comes up the blitz there. Dolls get a solid punch. Oh, well. Time for a true display of skill. I'm not too sure I call that skill, but Lord Panda is laying down on the job once again. I don't know why you called him up for this team. He seems to do more napping than anyone else on it. One die gets away with it and sends the poor peon flying. That was a sweet bob kiss, but it's doing the job. It is holding the team in. Yeah, Panda's definitely slippery. Yeah, the Blizzard really is changing the flow of the play. A lot less GFI is being done here. Oh, I see. This is his clever plan. Yeah, let me rephrase it. This is his other, other clever plan. Let's see if he can make it work. Charges in. Does get the solid hit. Moves that player moving. Now, does he follow up the tag? Oh, he's going this way. Clever. And now here we go. Yeah, moving players into scoring position here because this is going to be his clever plan. Dump it out here because guess what? You're too overcommitted. Told you, you should have gone for the ball. Didn't I? All right, here he goes. It's time for the cheeky hand off there. Does he get it? Yes, indeed he does. Shut up and take my money. Absolutely brilliant coaching there. It makes me so sad you didn't actually take the chance when you had it. And now the blizzard. Shenanigans! Shenanigans! Would you like to try that again, Sunshine? You know, asking for a friend. Message for you, sir. Yeah, there's a message for you. You should have done it when you had it easy. GFIs in a blizzard? You've had worse? <laughs> you lie. <laughs> and yeah, that just leaves things absolutely wide open. It's time for the score. And there it is. It is tied up one to one. Yep, there you go. Let loose the turnips of war. The BBPN is on the board. Tie score 
One, two, one. Well done, lad. This halftime, of course, is brought to you by Beer Night. It's the only way to treat your dwarves when they lose a game or choke in the big one. Beer Night. Except no substitutes. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. BVPN, they are on the offense here. Now, this is where we get to see. Of all things, it's the wrestle. So, yes, as noted here, guess what? You're short a player. As for Parstone, well, the block is out. But you know what? He doesn't care. He's got reserves. Lots and lots of reserves. All right. Let's see how this one goes. There it is. And now Gordy gets another one. Clench the butt cheeks. You know, every kickoff so far has been in favor of Inner Circle. Let's see if they can take advantage of this one here. And again, take a look. He sets up all the way back, and now, once again, here's the excuse. Come on. Come on. Have you got an idea where you're going? Oh, well, you'll take that one there. I approve. All right, we approve of something, all right. Ball has landed. Decent position here. All the way back. All right, that's just going to take a little while getting the ball up. Yeah, I find it is hysterical though. It's every time he sets up all the way back here, and then he gets a kickoff result. Push me, push you. Is this the theme of the day? Oh, well, how about you, Sunshine? Well, we do have someone down. Someone get the turnips. Wake him up. And you know, I'm starting to wonder if there's going to be some fouling involved here, because now finally there is a play advantage. Ten on nine. Didn't bring the longbows. That's the yeoman. Not the peons. Speaking of peons, how do you like to pee on him? Alright, that's rather disgusting. That's rather bad phrasing, too. Alright, here we go. Last peon of the day. There we go. Meet the fist. Is he down? About bloody time. And his name is Panda. Oh, stop getting so excited. It's only a bloody stun. Which is a bloody miracle in this game. Sure hands, he's sure of something alright, he's on the move. Well done lad, you've got the ball, it's going to take him a while to do something. Alright, in his circle. Now as I did note, he is a player down here, so it's going to make his defense a little bit more interesting. Except when things like that happen. Oh what a day, what a lovely day. He makes a complete mockery of that situation there, and a bit of celebration by the Bretonian fans. Which one? We're not sure. It's someone celebrating. A peon has been hurt, and that's always room for celebration. Yes, I know it's only a KO. Look, you take what you can get the way this game's going. All right, conservative, extremely conservative. He's going to wait to see what Parstone does, but at least the count is even up at ten on ten. All right. Barstone swinging a couple of fists in. Beating on Beyonce. You know, it's just another day at the castle, isn't it? Block on there. There we go. He's finally got one. He's finally got one. About bloody time. And get off my lawn. Yes, get off his lawn indeed. I don't care what the Gubby says. He's off the lawn, off the reservation, and he's off somewhere. Well, then again, the cast has been awful all the time. Lots of power. Hey, man. Everything. It's what you need. All right, here we go. Surge is forward. Does get there into the yeoman? Does he get him? Yeah, at least he knocked him over. The screams are a delight. Now, here's the big question. Are we going to start seeing some sneaky fouls at this point here? Not just yet. Oh, yep, here we go. About bloody time. Let's put a boot in his face. Let him know he's well and truly loved. Did he get him? It's through. That's only a stun. I broke your stupid crap, moron. Oh, don't worry. Cold Blade can't see anything. It's all this fucking snow. All right, in a circle. Now down two players on this one here. I have to do something a little bit more desperate. They do need to try collapse and maybe force the ball. Remember, it is a tie score. 1-1. One, one. No, a bit more conservative here. They're going to set up a light screen. By light screen, it means, well, it's what he does best here. Bit of a gap, though. Yep, he is leaving a lot of territory here. BBPN, if they can collapse this in, maybe remove one or two players on, on a roll here. Yes, it is indeed. All right, let's see what the Boston lads do. Oh, yeah. They see that gap. That was a huge one. And he's going to stick one right in there. Yes, I know. Phrasing. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like Paul Stone is afraid to get stuck right in. He's going to move on up. Eligible receiver, just in case. Yeah, there's an eligible receiver. All right, eligible for his fists. It's the gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving. It's like Christmas every day. There we go. Knocked him down. Finish her. Yep, the gay gaps and sticking. Yeah, he's sticking one right in where they did say. Ah, yeah, time for another foul. Does he get him? Is it about time? Oh, come on. Yep, Constable Ed is all the phrase. Look, he's sick and tired of this. Know your station. Know your real. Get off me lawn. All right, fine. Constable wants a fair game. It's about as fair as it's going to get there. That evens the numbers out. It's now nine on nine. In a circle. Getting on the move there. You don't blame him for fouling it. There's a yeoman there. Charges in. He re-rolls that, and that's what first bad roll of the day. There is his double skull. Your creatures are becoming angry. Well, he's going to be angry all he wants there. That was his choice. He had a push, he had a block, chooses neither, re-rolls it, double skulls. Well, that's what Grey gets you. I can understand his reasoning. It just really backfired, unfortunately. Solid punch on the front line there. Pass down on the move. Yeah, they're on the move somewhere. How about you? And he's gone! That was strangely arousing. Indeed it was. Absolutely. Takes a lesson from jousting right there. In the chin. In the face. As they always like to tell the nobles. Not the face! Not the face! Alright. Is this the moment where he goes plowing forward? Maybe. Just maybe. Here we go. Solid fisting right there. And he got that one. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Yeah, he had to hurt there, but it is only a son. And here they come. All right, it's time to go running. Is he going to score this one? I'm not sure. He is debating it there. Oh, well. Rolls that one again. And yeah, might as well. And he knocks that one down. Help, help! I'm being repressed! You're a loony. All right. What's he going to do now? This is a big question here. In a circle, the numbers are starting to tell now. This hell not having reserves. Does make the dodge. Well done. Gets a push. Rerolls that. Nope. Block on block. And nothing goes on that way. Oh, dear. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? He's going to do something to him if he can get his hands on him. Not from lack of trying. And you fail that one. That's easy. <laughs> You're telling me that was easy? That was the hard dodge. You fail the easy one. Of course you do. All right, here we go. Parstone gets the cheeky wrestle here. Yeah, his concentration is scoring. Nothing more, nothing less. Admittedly, now he does have a play advantage. He does like that idea. He can now get away with scoring and maybe do something useful. Nope, moves the peon over. Just in case. Asking for a friend. Yeah, he is preparing for the inevitable fail. We all know how Blood Bowl is. Two dice. Peon does get away with it there. Solid hit. Now your station. Knocks him down over here. Two more dice. Gets away with that one too. He's having a great day. Yep. He's been turned up. Hey, phrasing. Well, that's what you call it there. What do you want me to call it? Yeah, that is a cheeky KO. That does change the numbers somewhat more. Down to seven on the field. Push me, push you. Suddenly, he's not in a hurry to score, is he? Meanwhile, over here, there's a bit of a dispute of know your roll and know your station going on. Oh, well, in a circle. This is not good here. This is really not good. He needs to even these numbers up somehow. Does get a wrestle on that one. Yep, one and nine's that. But, yep, brings another player in. He's going to have to do a bit of risk here. Try and prevent the score. And you can see the peon is back. And of course he fails that one there. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, I know. Get on with it. Yeah, he got on with it all right. He makes him sad. It's even a KO. And there is celebration once again from the Bretonians. Yep. All that effort, remember, Blizzard, GFI, not a good idea. But at this point, he's getting desperate. But now he's down to five players. 
removed. He's down to six. That is the second time the Blizzard has completely pissed him off. And he's out the reroll too. Well, in this case here, if you pass down, it's right now nine on six. Let's get on with the fisting. I mean falling. Push me, push you. Like I said, he's in no bloody hurry at this point here. He can score when he wants to. At least, as long as he doesn't fail that, that can always fail. And he got that one. And there was much rejoicing. Yes, the Gumbies are having a great time celebrating that one there. It just allows the turns to just keep on ticking. And ticking and ticking. All right, desperation play. One dice, he gets that one. We must overreact immediately. Well, he's not overreacting that much here. It is the smart move. He needs to get this player back in the game. And he gets the second power on a one die block. Can't get a removal, though. He'd love the removal at this point here. Makes the cheeky dodge. It is now everything being focused. He has to stop the score. Well grappled indeed. Gets that one down. And he makes the dodge. See? Now he's got no rerolls. Everything's coming up in. Makes up for the snow, doesn't it? Well, Pawstone, now you might want to think about scoring this thing. The clock is ticking. It's not urgent. We'll see how he does this thing here. Remember, you can always have something go disastrously wrong. Why? Blood Bowl. Oh dear, he's got a plan. You see it coming. Fans are going to have fun with this one. Here we go. Into the crowd you go. Does the crowd like him? Yes, they do! Yay for murder! Yeah, yay indeed! The crowd makes good short work of that one. And the noble is rather annoyed. Yes, he says he's had worse. Yeah, bet he has. Bet he absolutely has. All right, so... That really trims his numbers down, yeah? That's six. He's down to five players on the pitch. This is going to make life a bit exciting. Now, admittedly, he does have the booze. But I think the objective's been done. Oh dear, well that didn't work. Mistake! Would you like to try this again, Sunshine? Yeah, he does. He gets away with it. Moves in a better position. He's fine. Everything's fine. How are you? Alright, here we go. This is the desperation moves coming in here. Makes the one day. Comes in, marks the player. Now he basically has to do everything marking. He has to make this a scrum. Makes the dodge. Comes around the side there. He's got to keep these players tied up. One die. Gets only the push this time. Now well, that's fine. This might be the big one here. Does he make it? No, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, and there was much laughter. All right, this is the one block. That's all he needed. He got the wrestling. That's all he needed. It's time to score this in. It is two to one. Yep, the BVPN. Parstone is up 2-1. to one. It must feel good. It must finally feel good. Hey, we're not top for a change. Phrasing. Oh, well, that's his choice. All right, as you can see here. Yes, he's got several players removed. But look at that. All the reserves. Yeah, it's called reserves. Meanwhile, let's take a look over here. Yeah, it's been a bit of a bad day, hasn't it? All right, here we go. Riot, where are you now? There's the kick. Oh, of course, now it's a gentle gust of wind after all that effort. All right, ball goes flying into the camera. And now we can finally see the teams. Yes, they're all different colors. There we go, solid punch right there. Finish him. Oh, I like it to finish him. He's a peon. More solid hits. He's trying to get something here. 
Oh dear, are we seeing a cheeky foul early? Yeah, we're probably all. Charges in, goes in, all against the peon. Why? Because that's what peon do. They fly. Not just pigs fly, peons fly. Shame once more. Oh, again? Absolutely again? Apparently you do, and you're doing too much of it, lad. You've lost your equilibrium. You think this is snow on the ground. Oh, it's not snow. Trust me. There's your final score, lads. It is two to one for the BBPN's Bretonian crew there. Crazy game indeed. Just goes to show you this. Sometimes it all comes down to positioning. And also paying attention when there's a blizzard. And the blizzard definitely did do its damage there. A lot of those fails would have been different. Well, thank you all for watching the cast for today there. Shame I can only get the one in. But I've been told I've got an appointment to keep somewhere there. Something to do about reading books. Something this team doesn't, neither of these teams do very well there. Anyway, thank you all. Nuffle, bless your dice.